Hey there! Before we jump into the video, I want to tell you about our math video game called Mage Math. The game will help your child feel more confident in math, and our math videos are inside the game to really help your child succeed. You can find the game and all our videos at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey guys, I have multiple problems I am dealing with right now. I am lost in this place, and I am also being chased by a snake. I think I lost the snake. Uh-oh. I guess not. Why don't you learn about multi-step word problems while I solve my problems too? Did you hear about my friend Tom? Tom biked 35 miles in June, 73 miles in July, and 64 miles in August. That's a lot of bike riding. How many miles did he bike altogether? Let's use addition to determine how many miles Tom biked in total. Do you remember how we can add 35 plus 73 plus 64? That's right. We need to stack our numbers, lining up each place value. Now we can add down in the ones column. 5 plus 3 plus 4 is 12. Because we can only write one digit below the ones column, we put a 2 below and we carry the 1 to the next column. Next, we add down in the tens column, starting with the 1 that we just carried. 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 6 is 17. We can write 17 below, just make sure the 1 is in the hundreds column. Altogether, we found Tom rode 172 miles. Have you met my mom, Lily? She had $331 to spend on birthday gifts for her family. Lily bought a doll for $38 and a tablet for $99. How much money does she have left? There's a few different ways to solve this problem, but I want to start with figuring out how much money she spent altogether on the doll and tablet. That means we will add 38 plus 99. I'm going to start by writing the addition problem vertically, and then I'll add the ones column. 8 plus 9 is 17. I know I can only put one digit below, so I'll write 7 below and carry the 1 to the tens column. Now let's add in the tens column. 1 plus 3 plus 9 is 13. Lily spent $137 total on the doll and tablet. So how much money does she have left? If Lily started with $331, and spent $137, we need to subtract 331 minus 137. Just like in addition, we'll start by subtracting in the ones column. 1 minus 7. Hmm, I cannot take away 7 from 1, so we'll have to borrow from the tens column. Cross out the 3, write a 2 above it. Then we'll cross out the 1 and write 11. This shows that we borrowed. Now we can subtract 11 minus 7, which is 4. Okay, now we repeat the process in the tens column. We have 2 minus 3. Uh-oh, I can't take away 3 from 2. So we have to borrow again, this time from the hundreds column. Cross out the 3 and write a 2. And now we will show our borrowing by crossing out the 2 and writing 12. Now let's subtract. 12 minus 3 is 9. Great job. We're almost done. Now we need to subtract in the hundreds column. 2 minus 1 is 1. We found that 331 minus 137 is 194. Therefore, Lily has $194 left after she bought the doll and tablet. Let's look at another problem. A soda factory can put 16 sodas in one box. 
they have already filled three boxes. How many boxes will be filled all together if they have 78 more sodas? First of all, that's a lot of soda. If 16 sodas can fit into one box, we will divide 78 by 16 to find how many boxes are needed for those sodas. Notice the setup for our division problem using the long division sign. 78 is the dividend and it goes under the long division sign, where 16 is the divisor, so it goes outside and to the left. We need to figure out how many times 16 goes into 78. Hmm, let's try four. Four times six is 24. We will write four below the eight and carry the two above the one in 16. Now multiply four times one, which is four, but we're gonna add two that we had carried. Four plus two is six. Therefore, 16 times four is 64. Next, draw a line and change the sign so we subtract. 78 minus 64. We can do this in our place value columns, starting with eight minus four, which is four, and seven minus six, which is one. So 78 minus 64 equals 14. And since 14 is less than our divisor, 16, we're done with the long division. And we know that we have a remainder of 14 sodas. So what does our answer really mean? We need four boxes to hold 64 sodas, plus one more box to hold 14 remaining sodas. In other words, we need five boxes to hold all 78 sodas. Let's revisit the problem though. The factory started with three boxes and needed to add more for the 78 sodas. We just found out that we needed five boxes to hold the 78 sodas. Therefore, altogether, we need three plus five equals eight boxes total to hold all the sodas. Nice work. Let's look at another problem. The fifth grade is taking a field trip to a local museum. They can fit 11 students in each small bus and two buses have already been loaded. How many buses will they take all together if they need to load 58 more students? We can use division to find how many small buses can hold 58 students. If each bus holds 11 students, we can divide 58 by 11 to find the number of buses. Let's set up our division problem. 58 is the dividend and it goes under the long division sign. And 11 is our divisor and goes out in front of the sign. How many times does 11 go into 58 without going over? That's right, five times. So multiply five times 11, which is 55. So we write that below, and then we're gonna draw a line and change the sign to subtract. 58 minus 55 is three. Three is our remainder. And this means that we have three students who will also need an additional bus. So overall, five buses will hold 55 students, Plus, we'll need a sixth bus to hold the last three remaining students. Let's revisit the original problem. The school already had two buses filled, and we need six more buses to hold 58 more students. Altogether, we need two plus six equals eight buses. Nice work. Shh. I think I lost the snake and found my way out. I guess not. See you guys later. Thank you for watching our video. To support us in making more videos, please check out our game at magemath.com. MageMath will really help your child have fun with math, so check it out today.